Hello, everyone. I'm Greg Gutfeld, along with Kimberly Guilfoyle, Bob Beckel, Eric Bowling, and Dana Perino. It's 5 o'clock in New York City. This is The Five. Well, so far at CPAC, we've heard from Alan West, who summarized the problems liberals have with race. I'm speaking from experience when I tell you that there's nothing on this green earth that a liberal progressive fears more than a black American who wants a better life and a smaller government. And here's South Carolina Senator Tim Scott to summarize why jobs beat the liberal bribe, i.e. handouts. Having a job is a good thing, but creating jobs is a far better thing. He said, if you have an income, that's a good thing. But if you create a profit, you can do the most amazing things. So what do West and Scott have in common? Well, if you work at the New York Times, you'd probably call them tokens. That's what you say when you see a black guy who doesn't act the way you want a black guy to act. You never say it to their face, however, because someone like West would use your forehead as a stepladder. <laughs> but it's no surprise Scott and West are Republicans. The Democrats have a past. Someone I work with who lectures me on race every day once called me Bull Connor. Birmingham's commissioner of public safety who used fire hoses and attack dogs on blacks in the 1960s. My pal left out that the thug was a Democrat. Didn't fit the story. A lot of stuff doesn't. The Democrats supported slavery and opposed amendments to wipe it out and give blacks the right to vote. They were pro-segregation, supported racist candidates, created Jim Crow, had a former Klansman, Robert Byrd, as a top senator and used the KKK as their cudgel. Of course, the media rarely ever brings that up or that Republicans helped pass the 1964 Civil Rights Act. So how does the Democratic Party influence help blacks now? Well, illegitimacy is up around 70%. It's not much rosier for urban squalor and imprisonment. Those Democratic programs have caused more damage than hurricanes Katrina and Sandy combined. Yet nearly all black voters go Democrat. That's why guys like West and Scott must fight the lying liberal media and remind black America of the abusive relationship they've endured for so long. They may not be in the back of the bus anymore, they're just under it. 